Good morning everybody and welcome to my first day waking up at home in quite a long time. Today I am heading off to London, <laughs> leaving Mike again. I'm sorry Bear. But, I've got a bone to pick with you this morning. Exactly. Came downstairs all ready for my morning dog walk and what did I find? Nothing. No dogs, no Mike. He went without me, you big meanie. Uh -huh. Why'd you go without me? Because you weren't ready. So mean. I was so looking forward to it. This lighting is grey. I look like a grey dead person. It's coffee time. We actually don't have any milk in the house, so I'm having a black coffee. And in terms of jet lag, I'm feeling pretty good. I actually took a sleeping pill because I couldn't get to sleep. I was awake at about one o'clock last night. So I took a sleeping pill and I slept right through till like eight, which is awesome and I feel okay a bit sleepy but okay I think the coffee's gonna help oh my god guys drama on the way to the train station in case you can't tell a little bit uh, emotional right now someone just pulled into me um, when I was on the slip road getting onto the motorway to go to the train station totally his fault just like changed lanes all of a sudden didn't see me and hit the back end of my car I think the damage is pretty limited that's like only the wheel but I got so so angry. I feel like I'm, no one's ever hit me before and I've never been in an accident before and I'm a really careful driver. So he he like hit me. I was literally like, oh my god. Um, and then we pulled over and obviously like did all the like exchanging details and stuff like that. And then as soon as I get back in the car, I'm like so composed and just like annoyed, but you know, deal with it. And then as soon as I get in the car, I burst into tears. And I don't know why I think it's like the adrenaline and the shock because genuinely like my car's gonna be fine I, it just needs a new wheel it's like the paint's not scratched or anything but it's just like whew, like an emotional morning not off to the best of starts i've got to go now and get my train i've actually got a photo shoot this morning um and so i'm hoping my makeup isn't too messed up from crying i literally rang mike i was like oh. he's like what's wrong i was like someone hit my car and he's like are you all right i'm like yeah but someone hit my car he's like you're fine calm down um so yeah i'll see you guys in a bit and i'm putting my sunglasses back on so everybody in the train station cannot see how ridiculous i look hey guys i've been such a bad vlogger today and i haven't vlogged since this morning i've had the most hectic day um Aside from the fact that I have got a sudden onset cold, I started sneezing at about one o'clock and by three o'clock I'm like full on cold. I like, I have a red nose already. Um, I've been like sneezing, sniffling, um, not good, not good. This is what happens when you do like five plane journeys in nine days, nobody is meant to do that, it's not normal and you catch germs no matter how much hand sanitizer you use, um, seriously. So I'm feeling a little bit poorly. Um, I went to a photo shoot at lunchtime and rushed through that, did that in about an hour, then headed straight to a meeting which I couldn't vlog either because it was top secret but super super exciting and when I can talk about it you guys are going to be excited too because it's awesome. Um, and then I actually went to a panel uh, tonight for young people working in the television industry all about digital content and making digital content and different types of digital content which was actually really interesting again I couldn't really vlog it because um, I was like on stage being asked questions about content and stuff but I'm gonna sneeze it's <laughs> um, but yeah no so that went really really well I've now checked into my hotel again I'm in the Great Northern Hotel in King's Cross which is um, one of my faves the room looks exactly the same it's like they're teeny tiny rooms but I just love the location and I love the bathrooms um, so that's where I'm staying tonight because it's currently half past nine I've just got back from the panel I'm gonna rush out to the station to see if there's anywhere still open that I can get some dinner and then I've got to upload a couple of videos and tomorrow I'm going to a press conference um for the edinburgh television festival i don't know what the exact name of it is but the big tv festival that happens in edinburgh every year um i'm on a panel for that in i think it's august or september i can't remember exactly when um pretty sure it's august and so we have it's like it seems like a long way away right now because everything's just been so busy so i have a press conference for that in the morning and then i'm heading home uh, Mike actually went and picked up my car from the station and apparently there's like not they don't think there's much damage He's taken it to the garage and got it looked at so that's good, but all in all today has been pretty Freaking manic if I'm honest in a car crash got a cold 
meetings, hectic, hectic. I'm gonna go and find some food now and then I'm gonna get some sleep because with jet lag, I have a feeling that I'm not gonna like waking up at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Um, which is when I need to get wake up to get ready because my cab is coming at 8.20 and I need to get a vlog up before then so um, that's why I'm like five days uploading my vlogs I'm sorry I've been rubbish this month guys it's literally just been with the time difference and everything being so busy and at Coachella I just got really behind and I feel like I lost a day like every week and then I've ended up like five days behind so um, it has been a bit hectic but the content will go up eventually and I hope you guys like it um, I'm gonna go and get some food now come along I hope I can get some sushi I feel like sushi surprise surprise OMG I walked up to the sushi place and I had just closed not impressed but I did manage to get prepped I've got some tasty snacks in there which are different to my normal snacks which is super exciting and the guy in prep actually kind of made my evening he made me laugh but he could see that I was kind of like oh, so tired so hungry <laughs> and when I paid he was like have a good weekend and I was like take that moment to think like Monday Tuesday no it's definitely Monday like it's kind of funny anyway the small things in life I'm gonna go eat this now get my video up and go to bed. So I just discovered another cool thing about this hotel, which I kind of knew before but I'd never explored it because I left Pret and then realized I had forgotten cutlery. And then I remembered they told me they have a pantry on each floor. I walk in and there's like everything. There's an amazing coffee machine, loads of coffee, tea pigs tea, which is some of my favorite, cake, dangerous, wagon wheels, retro, caramels, retro, and <laughs> one apple left, it is quite late at night, and sweeties, best thing ever trying to resist hitting that up tonight. Definitely tempted by the Victoria's button. Here is what I got for my dinner. I got a macaroni cheese with prosciutto, which I have never had. It looks good. I feel like it's been one of those days. I need something carby and cheesy. And then I got a super fruit, um, fruit salad and a pick-me-up shot of blueberry and pomegranate juice because I thought it would be good for my cold. I also got um, a yogurt pot for tomorrow morning because I know I've got to start early and I will not have the chance to have breakfast. So I'm going to pop this in the mini bar fridge if there is space and be set. OMG guys, I couldn't resist it. <laughs> this is so retro. I haven't had one of these since I was a kid. But I swear they've shrunk. I know obviously I've got bigger since I was a little kid but I swear wagon wheels have shrunk. And I'm not entirely sure about the new design. I think I preferred the old design with the actual wagon on it. Also catching up on The Returned, which is a Netflix remake of the French series. It's really, really good. I would definitely recommend checking it out on Netflix. Um, I think I'm on like episode seven. It's currently being released, which really annoys me because I can't binge watch it, but it's actually good for um, productivity because if I binge watch things, I generally don't get anything else done. <laughs> um, as I'm sure anyone else who is a member of Netflix knows how it goes. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed now because it's pretty late. I need to get a lot of sleep. I will speak to you guys tomorrow and hopefully be able to vlog a little bit more tomorrow than I have done today. Um, yeah, hope you all, I hope you all have had a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Hello, everybody. I'm back in England and I'm with MDF. Hello there. Mike picked me up from oh, I'm, the sunshine is really bright it is actually bright it's not me being snoozy is it you think it's bright too? it's relevant